All right, you shouldn't DM women first. And yes, this doesn't just go for Instagram. This goes for any online dating out there, such as BLK, Tender Hinge, Plenty of Fish, and any other dating app out there. And yes, I know there's a common misconception that, oh, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take, or you lost your confidence if you shot one for 20 and you stopped shooting. Well, I don't believe that to be particularly true with women just off the simple fact that let's say you DM a woman, right? You don't know her sexual availability or her emotional availability in that moment. She could be messing with the nigga who is on and off with her, right? But then you come in the picture and it's going to reflect in your relationship because this nigga's on and off with her. She's going to be on and off with you. So one moment she's going to be hot with you, you know, texting you and flirting you. And then the next moment she's going to be giving you the cold shoulder. It's not very a good thing to be on on the opposite end because it's going to fuck with your mental health and you don't want that. Imagine DMing all these women and these women just do this to you. It's going to literally give you a negative perception of women and make you think, oh, all these women are just playing on my time and just wasting my time. Well, no, that's not the case. You're just blindly shooting your shot on women who are not emotionally available or sexually available to you off the simple fact that, hey, you know, maybe if I shoot another 20 shots and I've only went one for 20, oh yeah, maybe these women will just stop and I might find the one. Yes, that may be true, but like if you look at the logistics, no, it's not the case. And then on top of that, we've done multiple experiments on this channel where we've DM'd hundreds and hundreds of women. And yes, I might say some outlandish shit like, yeah, I'm trying to baby her your doonies. But out of those hundreds of women that we DM'd, only about two to four have actually linked up. I don't know the exact number right now off the top of my head, but I'm just assuming two of four of those hundreds of women have actually linked up. Well, yes, a lot of them do leave me on red and then a lot of them do entertain it, but it never actually ends up to linking and then some you do exchange pictures, but then never end up linking. Only two or four of them have actually ended up linking and got cracked. Now, yes, you could say, oh, maybe if you go about it like a normal human being and you actually, you know, message these women trying to set up a date normally and naturally instead of saying some outlandish shit like I'm trying to baby all your doonies and actually get to try and know these women, it might go somewhere and you might get more numbers and results. Now, yes, that is very true, but on the opposite end, doing this will also result in you wasting a lot more time because there will be women out there who will be texting you and you're trying to get to know them. They might flake on you. They might ghost you because you never know what they have going on on the opposite end. And then on top of that, you don't ever want to be used for dinner dates, resources, a shoulder to cry on because at the same time, that could happen with that with these girls on online dating. That's why I feel like you should wait for a girl to literally shoot her shot at you or give you a choosing signal because bro, the timing is literally going to be right. She's taking the time to shoot her shot at you. Now, yes, they might play some little bullshit that you have to check in the beginning, but normally nine times out of 10, they always spin back once you put them in check. I promise you, bro. I've had this experience with multiple women. The woman who gave me any type of choosing signals on social medias such as validation liking my pictures liking my stories now liking the stories is kind of iffy on that because there are instances where girls have liked my stories and i've dm them and they haven't even replied but sometimes they do putting you on the close friends and depending on what they post on the close friends if it's something provocative or if it's something some quotes if it's provocative obviously they want your attention if it's something about quotes about another nigga i wouldn't even you know go into it because they're literally kind of friends hunting you talking about another nigga on their fucking close friends but hey that's up to you any of these choosing signals that they give to you basically i'm not telling you oh don't don't dm women if they're like you know telling you basically hey come talk to me i'm interested in you i believe you should go dm a woman first if they actually say you know hey i'm interested in you come talk to me but if it's like a cold dm no don't do it because at the end of the day you don't know what they have going on versus you know when they're actually saying hey come talk to me you have a better chance of actually linking up with them and building a connection with that woman or getting intercourse with that woman because she's basically saying hey i want to talk to you i'm interested into you and then on top of that you also could dm women who have you know they can have some type of interest in you you know maybe medium or low you're talking to them is going good and then a the guy they have more interest in you know that just has high interest and you'll know if a girl has medium or low interest because she'll have hot and cold interest in you be texting you slower maybe you're dry in responses and shit like that but a better guy comes along in their eyes and they're just gonna up and leave you it's not worth the mental hassle or anything like that it literally plays an effect on your mental health it wastes your time you would fucking lead with fucking money and then the worst case scenario is you get invested into this woman to the point where it's like i need to see this through meaning that you spend enough time and investment and energy on this woman i'm talking about like facetime calls messages money dates to where it's like it's hard for you to leave because you invested so much into it but she doesn't even like you like that and you get into a relationship like that where she's gonna find any in every excuse to leave you versus a girl who sees you as her number one option and she's giving you the world promise you do not dm these women first bro it's literally gonna fuck up your mental health waste your time and just fuck up your perception on a woman